Hey, this is Tony with Tennessee Valley Fence, and we get asked all the time about the materials that we use for our wood fence. Uh, we basically have two types of materials. We have a pressure-treated pine and a western red cedar. Now, one of the advantages to the pressure-treated pine is cost. It's a lot more economical fence, so you can really get a nice privacy fence without breaking the bank. The only disadvantage, or one of the disadvantages of pine, is it has a tendency to warp and twist over time, uh, and also has a graying effect. So it's, if, unless you stain it, it kind of has a, a worn, weathered gray look, which is not that appealing to us, to, to some people. Um, we also offer the cedar, which is a step above the pine. Uh, it has a tendency to stay straight. It doesn't warp, it doesn't twist. It does cost a little bit more uh, than the pressure-treated pine, but for about 30% more than the pressure-treated pine, you're getting twice the fence. The average lifespan of a pine or a pressure treated pine fence is about seven years. With the cedar, you're going to get at least 10 to 15 years out of that cedar fence. So you can actually pay a little bit more up front and get the cedar. You're not going to have the maintenance. It ages gracefully. It looks a whole lot better. But if you want to save some money, just get a fence up, get the contain the dogs, contain the kids, then the pressure treated pine might be your best bet. You can always stain either one and it's going to last you a lot longer if you do stain it. Tennessee Valley Fence, you'll love us around your place.